As we enter another graduation season, historically black colleges and universities are working hard to grow the number of students who walk across their stages in the years to come. One program is doing that by focusing on re-enrollment and giving students access to one-on-one -on -one educational support. Hari Srinivasan reports from Atlanta for our latest series on Rethinking College. Brothers, we are resilient. The Crown Forum at Morehouse College in Atlanta is part lecture series, part pep rally. The weekly assembly is a celebration of an all-male institution renowned for producing black leaders, known as Morehouse men from Spike Lee to Martin Luther King Jr. And now you graduates, you'll be moving forward. We visited as the school recognized its soon to be graduating seniors. A week before we arrived, Morehouse honored one senior with a brand new award. The Dean Darden Academic Resilience Award is being presented to uh, Mr. Roland Bland resilience to overcome all the things that life threw at him. I got on academic probation after my first semester. During that summer, my grandfather passed away. My grandfather raised me. When that happened, I decided to take time off from school and be there for my family. I came back um, smooth sailing, and then COVID-19 hits. Going back to school online, I don't know if that's for me. And I decided to take some more time off of school. So when you came back, what were the challenges of kind of getting yourself focused, getting yourself in class, doing the work, doing it on time, not being distracted? I started to visit the academic center, the Frederick Douglass Academic Center, actually taking the time to learn how to study. Right when I got here, I was still immature. I wasn't really taught the skills on how to study and how to retain that knowledge. Bland learned those skills through a new initiative at Morehouse, the Student Success Program. In partnership with the United Negro College Fund and the education firm Inside Track, the initiative identifies students whose GPA falls under a 2.0 and intervenes with one-on-one -on -one academic coaching, tutoring, and workshops. The fact that they have a writing center that, I can, that anybody can go to, um, the fact that they have tutoring sessions that anybody can attend, and the tutoring sessions are tailored to your major and your class that you're taking, those are very important. Versions of this pilot program that started at nine HBCUs have expanded to more than 30 schools with funding through 2026, aimed at helping students like Roland graduate. It comes at a time when enrollment in historically black colleges and universities is growing and more students are applying. But the sad reality is that only 38% of students at those schools end up graduating. Even at an elite institution like Morehouse, the rate is only a little more than half. So what happens between the time they come in and four years later or six years later that half or sometimes less than half are walking out with a degree? Life happens. Dr. Mel Foster is the Associate Provost for Student Success at Morehouse, where he's been teaching for 27 years. There are those guys, when they come to Morehouse, they are now in a community of excellent students. There is competition here. We don't have to make it happen. Right? It's going to happen naturally. And sometimes students will become more interested in the social aspect of being at the college. Another massive challenge, finances. Our cost of attendance is roughly about $51,000. The median household income for African American families is less than our cost of attendance. Remember why you came here. You came here to get the degree. Curtis Clark Jr. is an academic success coach who hears those and other challenges from students adapting to college life, especially first-generation college students. They may never had someone who looks like them tell them, I believe in you. You can do this. You're capable. I expect that you achieve this. I'm not hoping that you're going to be successful. Like, I will be disappointed if you are not successful. Clark graduated from Morehouse in 2015. I think about a number of students who I started with, who I didn't finish with, which is why I'm glad we have this program now, because I could think of people, you know, that I would have liked to have seen be impacted by this program in my matriculation at Morehouse. This semester especially was really hard. 
In Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Stillman College freshman Adibola Adarbigbe is away from her home in Nigeria and finds her coach to be a huge help. I had a lot to do with mentally, and she was always checking up on me, even on days I would just forget about her. <laughs> if she wasn't assigned to me, it would have been a rough semester. But even a program like this can only go so far. It's also dependent on the students to accept those um, offers of assistance because there's a limit to what the coach can do. It's still up to me as a student to invest in myself and just be the best that I can be. Another aspect of the program showing results so far, re-enrollment. Getting a student back onto campus is a huge win. Asia Johnson is the program manager for leadership initiatives at the United Negro College Fund. We've been able to have about 700 students re-enroll in their institution and get back on their educational journey. And if you think about it, 700 may not be a robust number, but for some of our institutions, that's more than their student body overall. Each step of the way, we are helping a student continue to stay on their educational journey and truly help them get to that graduation stage and walk across it. Roland Moses Bland will do just that this spring. He says he plans to work full-time on the online clothing company he and a partner started and hopes more of his peers can gain the necessary supports. I felt like I was chosen, and it would be great if more students could feel like they're chosen. Chosen to be Morehouse men. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Hari Srinivasan in Atlanta.